acted their faith out and Jesus could see that faith begin to commit yourself to the Lord before our father in the Lord will come back to release the power of God to roll away your miracles and you are not going back with those miracles I told you this is the final with those problems you are not going away with them this is the final bus stop of those challenges you are having wherever they may be it may be a relative you are standing in proxy for at the hospital wherever they may be at home god almighty will touch them because the power of god knows no barrier wherever you are begin to commit yourself to the lord counselors we are waiting for you once you are done let the supervisors signify to us and then our father in the lord will be coming back yes by my left hand side can i get a signal right hand side please let's be fast in writing but let's write correctly and also properly let's do it quickly let's do it quickly the power of God is going to touch you wherever you are. Supervisors, we are waiting. Counselors, let's be fast. Let's do it quickly, quickly. Yes, at the back, you signify once you are done. And the rest of us, let's remain in an attitude of prayer. Your miracle is around the corner now. At the back, okay thank you right at the middle there counselors have you finished at the middle towards the front Okay, get ready for your miracle. The Almighty God is going to touch you. As our Father in the Lord comes, the problems and the challenges will be rolled away. Amen. My problems will be rolled away. My sickness will be rolled away. Say it for yourself. Okay, say it so we can hear. And remember, and remember, the man put his faith into action. And he put his faith into expression because Faith without action is dead. And dead faith don't move anything like dead men don't move anything. It's when we put the faith into action. The man did what he couldn't do before. He arose, he took up his bed, and he walked, and he went forth before them all. And as we pray, when you hear the name of Jesus, and you hear the final amen, and that final amen, you put your faith into expression, your faith into action, and you do what you were not able to do before, you have a testimony tonight in Jesus' name. Now, identify the problem you have online, social media, television, over the radio, anywhere you are, any part of the world, and here in Lusaka, the Alpha location, 
identify the problem in the head in the body and you couldn't walk maybe the legs or the eyes identify the problem and lay your hand where the problem is where the sickness is where the paralysis is where the blind eyes are and where the tumor is where the growth is lay your hand there and then we're going to pray now at the mention of the name of Jesus that infirmity that sickness that paralysis that blindness that deafness will vanish away and when we hear the final amen the miracle is there already and then you will rise and do what you are not able to do before lay your hand where the problem is and raise up the other hand miracle is coming healing is coming deliverance is coming now father in jesus name yeah. we thank you because we know you're still a mighty god you have promised and your promise will not fail and you have given us jesus our healer our savior our redeemer our deliverer and the miracle worker in every life lord i pray that your mighty power will touch everyone now in jesus name i pray lord any challenge any problem any pain any infirmity from the top of the head to the tip of the toe for everyone here for everyone over there everywhere touch them heal them deliver them now in jesus name that madness that insanity i command you come out in jesus name i pray for all the swelling in the neck at the back in the tummy and near elephantiasis i pray the lord touch you right now all the swelling come out in jesus name incurable long-standing sickness that cancer be healed now in jesus name also be healed now in jesus name and breathing problem asthma be healed in jesus name hypertension be healed in jesus name i pray for bleeding that have been there all these years i pray lord the lord touch you now be healed in jesus name the pile there you are healed in jesus name and lord i pray that any pain in the bone any pain in the head migraine be healed in jesus name and those who could not see it or stand lord i pray you touch them now and that pain and that infirmity i pray lord will vanish away now in jesus name those blind eyes glaucoma cataract whatever i pray the lord will touch your blind eyes and your dim eyesight be healed in jesus name deaf and dumb i command be healed in jesus name lord i pray anyone everyone i pray over here over there you manifest your power right now and bring definite miracle of healing and deliverance to everyone thank you lord i know it is done and we'll see it and we'll rejoice together confirmation in every life manifestation demonstration in every life even now in jesus name i pray amen it is done you'll check yourself and what you couldn't do before you will begin to do and when you see the miracle right there you live where you are and you come as a national overseer will direct you we have testimony from you coming tonight in jesus name praise the lord check up yourself check up yourself don't forget put your faith to work action action act on that faith 
the power of God has been released on you what you have not been able to do before begin to do it now express that faith once it has happened you notice it you confirm it shout praise the lord so that we we'll rejoice together with you then you come down to my left hand side here there are our leaders there they will guide you to give testimony yes yes it's happening there bring them down bring them down bring them down come down come down all over the power of god has been released wherever you are wherever you are no movement check up yourself check up yourself don't carry the testimony home come and testify so that we we'll rejoice with you we want to rejoice we want to celebrate what god has done in your life don't go away don't move away come down from there check up yourself the moment you discover what god has done shout praise the lord then we will rejoice together with you you come down here you come and give your testimony join others yes it's happening there yes yes it's happening there give the lord a clap offering it's happening there praise the lord yes yes more all over yes the miracles are happening all over check yourself check yourself also it's happening yes yes over there bring them down come down come down come to my left hand side here come and give your testimony we want to rejoice together with you check up check up check up you're on the wheelchair this is the time to rise up the power of god has been released on you don't say i cannot walk this one cannot happen the almighty god has done it already god's power has been released and it cannot fail it cannot fail act out your faith act it out rise up don't wait for any sign the power of god has been released on you blind eyes open it and you begin to see if you brought anybody deaf or dumb speak to them they will respond right now because god's power has been released don't go away wait we want to hear your testimony bring them down come down to the left hand side here let our leaders arrange you to come and give your testimony we want to celebrate with you check it up check it up god's power cannot fail check up check up act at the faith and then the rest will be testimony come down <clears throat> yes it's happening you discover it come down please want to rejoice with you come and share your testimony come down to my left hand side here what you have not been able to do before what you thought was not possible god has made it possible encounter with the god of miracle you've had an encounter with him his power cannot fail a father in the lord has prayed for you and the manifestation we want to hear the testimony check it up check it up those of you online the same thing wherever you are in your room on social media everywhere check up yourself at the alpha location here everywhere across the world the miracle power of god has been released upon you and it has rolled away your problem your infirmity your disease your challenge whatsoever was a challenge the thing that was burdening burdening your heart this is the time it has already been removed check up come down here by our left hand side come and give your testimony god's power is working it's working
get started now as they are lining up here. Let's start with the social media. Let's listen. It is wonderful to know that Jesus is here in Zambia working miracles, doing good by the ministration of God's servant, the international evangelist, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. What a wonder, as we are receiving great testimonies live from the social media. We begin with this testimony. The image you are seeing on your screen is a wonder. It is the image of a miracle that happened to one Mary Taiwo, who wrote from Papa region in Nigeria. Mary Taiwo wrote that I had a lung growing up on my rib side near my breast. It had developed to this stage for the space of five years. I've consulted medical practitioners and they told me that I would need an operation, but I was afraid because of the location of the lung. After so much pain, I believed God for a miracle at the GCK. As the man of God directed that we should place our hands wherever the problem is, I placed my hands and after the prayer of the man of God, to my greatest surprise, the lung just broke off and fell down from my body. To God be the glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a clap offering. It doesn't matter what your growth might be. Your own has fallen down. You will come and testify. Keep on checking yourself. Keep on checking yourself. We have more testimonies coming in. The Lord is doing supernatural things in this crusade. We have a testimony from Imam Friday and he says, I thank God for how he healed me from Henya, a swelling in my private part. The swelling has suddenly disappeared. May the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's give the Lord a clap of rain. It has happened. Indeed. Listen to God more. God is continuing to do miracles online and we have another testimony from Esther and it, Esther is praising God for healing her son from severe typhoid just after the prayer of the man of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Facebook page, Daniel Kawala wrote, Praise the Lord. My younger brother's wife was rushed to the hospital this evening and a doctor pronounced that a child had died in the womb and that they were struggling to save the mother through operation. I cried and called on the name of the Lord Jesus for help to the glory of God. After the prayer of the man of God, I received a call that the operation was successful. The child and the mother were both rescued alive. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Give the Lord a clap offering. Give the Lord a clap offering. Let's celebrate the name of Jesus. Wonderful. Greater things are going to happen. Check up yourself. Don't forget your own miracle is there. We want to hear your own testimony. Come down. Come down to my left hand side here. Our leaders are going to attend to you. Your testimony is important. Orchestra, give us a song.
we we'll listen to testimonies now from the Alpha location. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Praise the Holy Spirit. My names are Annie Namonje from Garden Church. But uh, where I go from Matero, then I went to Garden. That's where I'm coming from. I'm here to appreciate what God has done for me. He has been so kind to me. I was sick almost for three years. I was, um, uh, this, next, this sickness has made me even to fail to attend church services. And I had the heart, uh, the desire to worship God really in a great way. That God, and I prayed to God that God may you help me, may you deliver me. I need to worship you. I need to glorify you before I go. And I prayed to God and God has done something good. I came yesterday. I, I was not feeling well, but I said, God, give me strength so that I can go and worship you. Until I walked, you know, not having a, a what? Um, I catch a bus from my, uh, from my place until I reached here. Now, from that place coming here, it was difficult for me to walk. But I said, God gave me strength so that I reach that place I see Wakumui so that he can pray for me. And today I receive, I have received the total deliverance, my leg, I'm feeling well. So I thank God for this. Where was the pain? The pain was here. It was almost three years it was paining. And I was saying that when I reach there, I need you, your mercy, your kindness, my Lord. And I said to, I said to my relatives, my guardians, neighbors, even strangers, I said, when I reach there, I need you, God, to spare me so that I can go and lift up the name of God. So I want to thank you so much for the loving kindness of the Almighty God. He has been so kind to me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Her condition is called osteoarthritis, which uh, gives her problems uh, in walking and makes most of her joints weak. So in this case, it was her hip that was stiff. Praise the Lord. Next testifier. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Nezaka machinyanja, chamine nini na chopa miriyain. Ehe. Nifuna kuyami kila mulungu, pasi kuyale ropa vamine ani chitila pa umoyo wanga. Hallelujah. But that was uh, last, last week, last week Monday, when I had a dream that uh, napaya njoka. So after na paya njoka, na buwana kusen kwacha, na buwana mvela kwendo uku. Kwa mene kwa kulait. Pa mene hapo kwendo, kuna buwa kwa mba kubaba mba ningi chabi. Had that pain hapa pa hip hop. Kwendo enze kubaba, I couldn't bend this nenze kukwanisa, kubela ma, buino buino. But I could pretend to my children and my, my husband that everything vichabe buino. But yet the pain was just too much. So little Pamina I told God one thing that Ambuye Nifuna Muni Chili Sequendo Kwanga. Today Ambuya I want to receive my miracle. Sinifuna ni buele foot chmoz moz na yi pen. Ya ni vutisa usi kusini gona. Muzuba, I couldn't walk bwino bwino kutandi zila nsuchoza pa nyumba. But after the man of God preached, I, I had just that faith that Ambuye today I'm going to receive my miracle. So when the man of God prayed, our dad in the Lord prayed, and after that prayer, Na bwachena mvela ijalilifu, yonse, jechane nezo mvela kubaba ijapeni. 
I want to thank God um, for what God has done through our dad in the Lord. Thank you for the healing, and I believe that this healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Our sister was just uh, trying to thank God. She had a hip pain. Uh, now, upon hearing the man of God pray, uh, that pain is no more. Praise the Lord. Amen. I've just summarized. Thank you very much. Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Ishina diandini nevo, Christine Lupia, Mrs. Mutondo, Fumine Copper Belt, Luansha, Mpongwe, Nampamba, Zambif. My name is Christine Lupia. <laughs> problem we are in 2019. Now you have the problem we are in, so they are left. Shale Mona. Mwalin Tungire Akachan. Kumbari Ukucha White. So did you acquire Lord Chet Dingy 2019? Amalite ya pa dining room ya di own. So pa kuisa amalite ya di sampanga spaki muli nso. Idi nso kwa tibale li fumia. Ama venzi ya uku ya le kalipano kuisoko ya le kalipasana. So idi idi nso ya uku ya di sa dumbuka. Idi ya kulefti ya di munomo. Idi amalite ya mpangile spaki. Amen so yonse ya di sa varedi. Na kalonda aka di mwaka white kalisa toveka ili nso li onse li alisa li kwa ukumona na alichuri le na alilombele nemfwa na atimweleza chawama umfwe kuchilo kuchula umusangoyu na ile kuhospito walisa nondolo elati tamwala kwa malo elaya ayari five na alisa kana efuwa baishile njevati akachani kali mtu nkile mudi nso kali fumishe amenshi lelo Ama pepo ya wa pasta wa fiashivesu wa kumui Kuna ijeja ilio vale pepa vale tuwe vati ikateni ya pae galipa Ukufuma 2019 na ale kwa to kuikata umutwe onze nerinso Lelo kuruselu wa kwa resa na kwa to ukumona pantu mumuntumo na ale mwana mwabantu babili Ameluya Our sister and Christine is just uh, giving glory to God. She says in 2019, when there was the load shedding, a speck uh, was in her eye, and because of that, the eye started swelling. And it used to grow, and there was terrible pain. Whenever she tries to see, there was pain all over her head, such that uh, one of the eyes could not see clearly. It went on, the pain went on until it affected the other eye. But uh, when the man of God prayed from 2019, today she wants to testify that that pain is no more and she's able to see very clearly. Glory be to God. Amen. Do Dr. Over to you. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a clap offering. The condition that she had is a uh, traumatic cataract, which comes when uh, you have some kind of trauma. In her case, it was a small uh, stick that pricked her eye that uh, caused what we call the lens of the eye to become whitish. It becomes white in color that uh, obscures someone from seeing. So. Uh, she what she described is what we call traumatic cataracts. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. My name is Iris Mualechiti. 
I come from Kasama, the northern part of Zambia. I want to testify of the goodness of the Lord, of what God did for me. Last year, I had a very deep depression, and I used to come to my father in the Lord, Pastor Moni, for prayer. So what happened, even uh, sometime again last year, I had a problem. I wouldn't hold my urine. My urine was just oozing out. So. Uh, June 2022, last year, on the fifth, on the 25th of June, 2022, I was watching the GCK. The man, there was a man who was testifying. That man had uh, had cancer. He, he had the cancer for the men. So he was testifying. He was saying that he also had that uh, the urine. The urine was also oozing out, and he he wouldn't even control it. And he was even about to go for an operation. So when the man of God prayed for that man, that man got healed. So when, when I heard about the testimony of that man, because that man also, his urine was oozing out. So even me, I said, if this man can be healed, it means that even me, I can be healed. I really thank God. That day, it was the 25th, 25th of June, 19, uh, sorry, 2022, and I got healed. I got healed completely. Completely. And the depression, it went out. I've been redeemed, as you can see. Indeed, I have the joy of the Lord. I really thank God for, the, for what happened. I'm just urging everybody. The man of God didn't lay hands on me. The man of God didn't give me water to drink. But the Lord himself, just through the weight and faith, indeed, I got healed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's give the Lord a clap offering. I thank you, man of God, for the prayers that you are praying for us. Amen. Online, let's hear testimonies from online. Social media, over to you. As you are here. Encounters happening all across the world. Olubenga Ajayi is praising the Lord who has healed her six year old daughter from excruciating leg pain after yesterday's final amen praise the lord hallelujah indeed god is a is a miracle worker and we continue to receive more testimonies online and on our youtube channel we have glory olugande olugande who is praising god and of the son who had just prayed just yesterday and after the prayers of the man of God, God healed the son and the pain disappeared. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We now bring you a striking testimony. While the man of God was praying here, the power of God traveled their satellites and the social media platform. And a young man named Michael in Isolo, Lagos, Nigeria, came with crutches to the crusade and as the power of god was released in the prayer from zambia here the power of god touched him and as you can see on your screen there he is walking like he never had any crutches before you can see someone Amen. holding the crutches behind him it's Amen. the power of the most high god in action the lay walking amen Glory be to god hallelujah praise the lord be it youtube or facebook the lord is doing marvelous things we have a testimony coming in from the DL, D, dclm youtube from elisha odioye and he is praising the lord who has healed him from pains on his left shoulder which he suffered for days and he says to god be the glory the pain is nowhere to be found praise the lord hallelujah miracles are happening and we have another testimony from benson pale and is praising god that yesterday he came back from work with severe pains and headaches and weaknesses but, and woke up this morning with the same pains. But just after the prayers of the man of God just now, the pains are all gone. Your own God pains are gone. Hallelujah. 
Check up yourself. It is wonderful to know that Jesus is here in Zambia working miracles, doing good by the ministration of God's servant, the international evangelist, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. What a wonder, as we are receiving great testimonies live from the social media. Another testimony from YouTube. My name is Okwala Abraham from Nigeria. During the message of the man of God, I received my healing as sore throats that had bothered me for a long time simply disappeared. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Martin Wanko says, Thanks to God, my wife was having severe pain at the lower abdomen from her previous surgery, and it is now gone after the final amen. Her right hand shoulder is also healed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's Praise the name of the Lord. We have more testimonies. And this one comes from Orole Itunu. And he is testifying that God has just healed him of arthritis. Hallelujah. Adonani Joseph Sandra Onyejika wrote, I received healing from pains that have existed in my ribs. Praise the Lord. Also from Facebook, Mary Ude wrote, Thank you, Jesus, for healing me from the consistent, from the eye problem that had lasted for a while. I am now free. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to keep checking yourself. And even as you go back home, the manifestation will keep on following you. And we want to listen to your testimony and praise the Lord together with you. Yes, let the orchestra give us. Let's rise up on our feet. We want to praise the Lord and thank Him. Please don't forget tomorrow morning, we are meeting here 8 o'clock in the morning, Impact Academy. It's our time to awaken the sleeping giant. That's the theme, awakening the sleeping giant. The sleeping giant in you will be woken up tomorrow. Don't miss it. It doesn't matter your age. Age is not a barrier. It's for everybody. Even though we are calling it Impact Academy for young people. I've been following it and I can tell you uh, there are some things I've had. I keep on telling myself, oh, how I wish I had this before. God Almighty will not disappoint you. Let's thank the Lord and praise the name of the Lord. Let's worship him and magnify him for what he has done. And let's commit our Father in the Lord into the hands of the Lord. He ministered in the morning. The way he ministered this evening, you wouldn't know that he had already preached a very long message this morning. Let's thank God for him and pray that the Almighty God will renew the strength. Let's glorify the name of the Lord. Let's thank God for the miracles of salvation, signs and wonders that have been manifested, the healings and deliverances across the globe. From here, Alpha location, to all over the world, God has done wonders. Let's glorify his name. Let's thank him. Let's thank him and worship the Almighty. Let's magnify him. And let's commit tomorrow into God's hand. That's another day. 
the eternal God will visit people in the morning and in the evening. And go where you are, invite people, talk to them about the crusade, that the man of God is present here, and let them come and receive their miracle. Father, we thank you and we praise your holy name. We worship you, ancient of days. We are grateful for what you have done for us. Thank you for your mercies that endure forever. Lord, we thank you, O God, for the manifestation of your power in saving the sinners and in delivering the oppressed and healing the sick and performing diverse miracles. Lord, we can only say glory be unto your living name. Thank you for our Father in the Lord. Thank you for our mommy. Thank you for how you used our Father in the Lord to minister to us in the morning and again this evening. Oh God, you've released your power in a mighty way. Lord, we pray, refresh him and renew his strength. And Lord, bring us tomorrow in the morning to come and celebrate once again as all the sleeping giants are working. Oh God Almighty, we are praying that your power, oh God, will touch everyone. Go with us as we go. Let your presence go with us. Thank you, O oh Lord, for hearing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow morning. And in the evening, we are going to gather together here again. the month again. It's Jessica O'Clock. In Mark chapter 16, verse 16, Jesus said, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. We're bringing the gospel to every creature. Mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers. Jesus the Savior, there is no another. Salvation from yonder since chains break us under. Yeah. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All of your shames you will roll away. Oh, 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 hey, Jesus. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All of your shames you will roll away.
salvation is for you the need to pay for you might have feel there is grace today of Satan, oh, yeah. This case, yes, so bring your case. Come on, everybody, take your place. Come and experience for me saving grace. No matter your color, no matter your race. Mama, papa, they come. Okay, why in the yard? Mutu, mata, so, oh, baba, GCK Gospel to every creature Praise the Lord My miracle is here My miracle is here Speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Any part of your body that's not functioning well, you have pain, you have sickness, you have impotence, whatever. Lay your hand where you have that challenge. And then raise up the other hand, and as we pray, in the name of Jesus, our Lord, for the mighty spoken word, healing will come to you there. My healing will come to me here. and sees, paving a way for the blind to not only feel but see and bask in the wonders of God's creation. Some others to leap for joy from healing and climb the highest mountains with their feet. The news of this impactful movement cuts across diverse age groups, youths, adults, children, nobody being exempted from the move. It is a widespread movement to villages, towns, states, nations, continents. They are learning at the feet of Jesus through one man, a teacher of the word, given to service and sacrifice for the Most High. And now, here comes a season where time turns its hand and leads the movement into a city rich with wildlife and nature, with the servant of God ordained God to prepare the way. In Zambia, at this time, for something great. In view of this, Lusaka, Zambia, is experiencing of the miracles God is raining down. The movement is the GCK, the Global Crusade with Kumuyi. It is a season where we encounter God's divine power. We are a testament to the faithfulness of God.
Praise the Lord. My miracle is here. My miracle is here. Speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Any part of your body that's not functioning well, you have pain, you have sickness, you have impotence, whatever. Lay your hand where you have that challenge. And then raise up the other hand. And as we pray, in the name of Jesus, our Lord, of the mighty spoken word, healing will come to you there. My healing will come to me here. As a backsliding, that the Lord will restore backsliders. As many as knew the Lord, but they left the face as they set their feet here, the power of God will touch them. They will be restored. All hardened hearts will be broken. The Lord will do his work in every life tonight. Your miracle is on the way. Your miracle is on the way. Let's talk to the Lord and say, Lord, it is my turn. It's my turn tonight to receive my miracle. Others have received I will receive my miracle tonight. Others have received. It is my turn. It is my turn. And it is my time. Lord, it is my turn. And this is my time. I will never let you go. I will not let you go unless I receive my miracle tonight. I will not let you go unless I receive my miracle. And the miracle is yours. You will receive your miracle. Let's pray. And ask that the Lord will do greater things tonight. He will touch our lives. He will touch every soul. He will reveal his will, his way to every soul. 
you are joining us we want you to join us in praying Tonight is my night of encounter, divine encounter. He will touch you. He will touch me. We will see the manifestation of his power tonight. We will see the manifestation of his power tonight. We are praying. As you join us, please close your eyes and join us to pray. And like we have said, there is hope for a praying man. Even what you have come here for, Through prayer, you will receive. Here am I, Lord. I'm available. Here am I, Lord. I submit. Let's talk to the Lord and say, Lord, here am I. I am ready to do your will. I am ready to do your will. Our God is faithful. He has never failed and he will fulfill his promises towards every one of us tonight. And tonight the enemy will submit. Tonight, whatever has been hindering your progress, the Lord will take away. Tonight, whatever has brought the yoke and calamity, Tonight, around
Father, we thank you for another night. We are grateful for how you visited us yesterday. Tonight, Lord, we are praying we will receive greater encounter from above in Jesus' name. Even as we begin, Holy Spirit, begin with us. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is the second day of the divine encounter with our Lord Jesus. So we just want to praise Him. So for those of us who can stand, let us stand. Because we want to worship and praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Amen. There is none holy as the Lord. So right now, we want to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to worship Him and praise Him once more through choruses. So let us sing with strength. I sing, I'll lift him up higher. And everywhere I sit, I'll lift him up higher. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. oh precious is the blood. Oh, oh, oh. Let's clap together. 
We pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shall we rise up on our feet as we take our congregational hymn? A new name in glory. I was once a sinner. Page three, please, of our program sheet. I was once a sinner, but I came, pardoned to receive from my Lord. This was freely given, and I found that he always kept his word. I was humbly kneeling at the cross, fearing not but God's angry frown. When the heavens opened, and I saw that my name was written down. In the book, it is written, saved by grace, 
or the joy that came to my soul. Now I am forgiven. And I know by the blood I am made whole. There is a new name written down in glory. And it's mine. Oh yes, it's mine. And the white robed angels sing the story. A sinner has come home. For there is a new name written down in glory. And it's mine. Oh yes, it's mine. With my sins forgiven, I am bound for heaven. Never more to roam.